skeleton like drug me underwater and kept dragging me and dragging me and while I was going underwater I would see things like my family falling apart and um, some gory things like my eyes bleeding and my nose bleeding and just horrific things happening to me and I would get, keep dra dragging down dragging down until it got so horrifying to where I would wake up. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this interstellar magical girl makeup. Absolutely love the color scheme of this. I haven't used this wig in forever, and I love how this turned out. Panel. In today's video, I have another makeup video for you, but this one is different from my other ones because it is a makeup review. I recently bit the bullet and decided to try the brand Glam Light. Um, they have a bunch of different themed palettes and I was super, super excited when I saw that their TikTok shop had things on sale and I went and I bought the Glam Light Scooby-Doo palette. Hi, Spooky Ghost fam, and welcome to the first Makeup Monday of December. Hello, holiday looks. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this really pretty icy snowflake look. This could either be used to be a snow fairy or the character Snow Miser from A Year Without a Santa Claus, one of my favorite holiday movies. Absolutely love how this turned out. December is often a time of grieving for people that have suffered from childhood PTSD. We are grieving going no contact with our families for our own mental well-being. We are grieving what we once had and what we will never have. We grieve the childhood that we lost. My favorite look personally of this whole entire lookbook, I love this white wig paired with vampire or demon looks. I have this scarf tied around it as like a headband and I absolutely love red and white together. Like red looks with the white hair is just so beautiful. I have this little punk skirt on as well that I got from Hot Topic a couple years ago. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's one of my favorites. And I absolutely love, again, I just did the simple, just all red look. Just a really easy go-to for vampire looks. Hey Spooky Ghost fam, and today's Makeup Monday episode, we will be doing this Christmas Franken makeup with the Franken stitches, this time being Christmas lights. I really love the creative festivity within this look. I am obsessed with this outfit. So I cut the orange top into a crop top, like I said, in the haul portion. And then as a cute little DIY, I took the extra fabric from cutting this and I turned it into a matching scarf because this um, turtleneck doesn't go all the way up like I had preferred it would. So this was a little bit cute compromise. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam. In today's episode of Makeup Monday, we are doing this heat miser look. I did a gender bend of the character. Since everybody, every time I want to wear this wig, jokes that is heat miser, I thought, why not freaking own it for the holiday season? I absolutely love the flame liner. This look, it's my fault fashion. Now, this look, I absolutely love how the wig is styled but the glitter on the cheeks is just not it when i closed my eyes though i did i didn't have a picture of this but i remember vividly i had candy cane striped eyeshadow and i thought this was such a thing for the time i did it with like that you know that makeup you can get at halloween it's like very oil based i used that and i just did it look good and the guy from TikTok still had me wrapped around his finger. Well, it got to the point where everybody convinced me to cut him off. And I thought I was free of him. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost fam. And welcome to the first Makeup Monday of the new year. It is officially 2024. For today's Makeup Monday, I will not be doing a tutorial. But a try to get ready with me. How I do these is I usually 
just film it as I would a makeup tutorial, but I pick a topic and I do a voice. This look is so cute. Yet again, I took that short white wig and styled it in a girly style. I miss this dress so much. And then I had my green contacts in with this look to bring in more of the ghostly vibes. With the blue eyeshadow, it is adorable. Hi Spooky Ghost fam, in today's Makeup Monday I am trying the Viral Mask Makeup Trend from TikTok. I absolutely love how my version of it turned out. I of course took a very ghosty Halloween-y spin. Some harsh freaking events, right? There's some harsh events. It's really hard for them to go through that. Um, and it's usually after a long time of processing it and reliving those flashbacks over and over and over and over again to come to understanding of what the hell happened. But every time they talk about it, they talk about the story of what happened. Then they have like a middle part of the video kind of talking about the situation and how they're looking at it now. And then they have a end part of the video where they're like this is how i'm handling it now this is my mental health advice this is what i want my viewers to know if they've gone through this it's a very responsible way of telling your story is dream diary where i go over and we talk about some of the weird dreams i have i have been documenting my dreams when i have them every night been also trying to keep up with also documenting the times i am pulled out of my sleep definitely the sleeves because they're so whimsical and flowy i've always wanted sleeves like this hi it's Pookie ghost fam and welcome to yet another episode of makeup monday in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how i did this wonderful very monster high spider web eyeliner makeup uh, some disney nostalgia with you guys because most of them are disney channel stars and i think this will be a good episode to make me want to film more what is coming disney channel nostalgia content <laughs> right off the bat you open it up I'm gonna ignore that. Ignore that. But I had like Hannah Montana. These are all like Hannah Montana stickers. If y'all come on my live streams on my TikTok, y'all know I'm a Hannah Montana girly. And on my TikTok, I use Hannah Montana audio every time I can. But every time I turn on this camera, it's like, even though I'm speaking into a void, I'm speaking into just my phone camera. This is my home. This is where I'm hopeful. This is where I can think of different outcomes that are not the life that I'm living now. I get to escape into my own little world. And yes, through some of the things people can look at that and be like, oh my God, he's literally insane. Yeah, but like, I also have my followers that have been so accepting and really appreciate my complete transparency on how my brain works. About this outfit is that I did achieve like monster high realness. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam. I thought it would be fun today to create a jack-o'-lantern boy, spooky boy makeup look. Cut. Yeah, I knew I was gonna wear this hat for an interview, so this feels like really surreal predicting things before they happen and then when they happen you're like oh <laughs> so i'm not crazy as people make me out to be now we're not binding or anything here one of our favorite hacks is wearing a flannel or a button up over things for that masculine vibe it is all how you hold yourself your energy yes are you gonna have people still misgender you yeah but do you feel like they could do today hell yeah you do so that's where your validity comes from. You are still valid and loved. Helping like you kind of, that is like dysphoria causing, right? That is really dysphoria causing. But I have taught myself that it is all about the energy you hold yourself with. What I mean by this is if you feel like a boy, if you sound like a boy, if you act like a boy, use a boy. This look is a prime example of what I mean by that ghosty is 
a cartoon character. This is us being a cartoon vampire girl. This looks like it's straight out, crawled out of a goth cartoon. As y'all know, I'm gonna be continuing this. It's who I am. Tearing up a little bit. That's what I was meant to do. Yes, you were meant to do so YouTube, honey. Yes. I feel like a spooky cute version of the Queen of Hearts. It's also giving very doll-like because of the pigtails. I feel absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to wear this out of my house. Of course, I'm gonna have to add a little jacket over top. Now, this is the finished hair. I absolutely love how this shade turned out. It's a little patchy in some areas, but I feel like that gives it character. And welcome to the long-awaited birthday vlog. Woohoo! So in this vlog, you get to follow me along as I make the journey to meet my long distance boyfriend, Preston, for the very first time. I am literally back in NC right now. I got back last night. Sure, every single time you go, but I absolutely love the aesthetic of this look. The makeup is actually really simple because it's just all red with the grayish eyebrows to match the white wig. I absolutely love white wigs with a red outfit. The vibes are just so, so pretty. And I learned during this lookbook that red really, really makes my eyes pop and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I felt stunning. So for me, my schizophrenia stemmed from trauma and I think that doctors need to look into this a little bit further uh, in schizophrenia patients. They need to be looking at them from a trauma patient perspective as well because a lot of the time it's a trauma response. Actual tutorial on this channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this butterfly, very fairy-like eyeliner look. I love all the blue. It matches my hair perfectly. Discoveries. When we looked up this name, this is like confirmation from the universe. She died in February 7th, which is Ghosty's birthday in 1976, I think. I'll put a little picture here on the screen. She had everything because I just took her out of the box. Hannah was like one of the only Disney Channel dolls that they actually took effort in making her look good. I guess it was because it was their top show, but look how pretty her face is. This doll has actually inspired me to get back into doll collecting and regaining all my favorite dolls from my childhood. But can we just appreciate her outfit? She has the long winter coat with the sparkly guitar the little sparkly shirt, and then her pants are bejeweled. I also have the stand for her, and she's just been sitting on my shelf with all my other spooky things because she is the OG, super in-depth, special interest. <laughs> Hi, Spooky Ghost fam. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my go-to looks. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. So today I'm showing you how to do this purple gothic makeup look in my cartoon goth style. Um, where we'd all get in a circle and we'd say who our favorite was because there were so many of us. we go around and go around and we'd pick whoever um, and... I don't actually remember ever getting picked and this came up in my adulthood a couple years ago now um, this wound came back up because it was family picture day my mom wanted this picture of all of us I'm gonna put it on the screen um, they can't really sue me or anything cuz it's my picture I'm in it Look how miserable I look. My mom wanted us to recreate this picture from our childhood with all of us there. And then afterwards, everybody was picking the siblings that they wanted personal photos with and I was just standing there waiting my turn. I thought somebody would have picked me. Woke up to lots of like music and noise and talking and I went into this basement. It was like a whole nother world. Think 
Spirit Hit Away Studio Jiggly Ghibli. I don't even actually know how to say that right. Is it Jiggly or Ghibli? Um, fantasy Come to Life. There was this night market with all these like spirit creatures and they were selling spooky cute foods. They were selling lots of arts and crafts. Hi, you spooky ghost fam, and welcome back to the channel for another Makeup Monday. In today's makeup video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this smoky gothic look. I've been needing to do a look that's just purely gray and black for a while now, since that is a staple in goth fashion. Kept this space in my heart where I saw it as something special, something that the right people would come along and embrace. And in high school, I made my first YouTube channel because I wanted to share my creative mind with the world. Cosplay was what initially pushed me to start embracing my weirdness, start embracing um, my unique creative gifts. Feeling that I have done throughout the years, I'm proud of myself for that and I feel so much relief after just finally getting this off my chest. Before we get into talking about the first Trolls movie, I am joined by a very special YouTube friend here on the YouTube flat platform. I'm going to give the uh, microphone to Desiree. Um, they are a fellow troll lover as well. That's how I found their channel. Um, our equal love of the Trolls franchise is what drew me to them. And now I have a really awesome YouTube friend and their channel is so cute. If you love kawaii things and wholesome content, definitely go give them a follow. Okay, with further ado, hey here's Desiree. It's Desiree, aka Desirizzle. And one doll line that has meant the world to me growing up was Trolls. This toys franchise, oh my gosh, it was one of the first ones I remember collecting like in the thrift stores, like with these classic 90s Trolls. And yeah, I've just been a fan of them since I was around like six or five. And they were one of my first toy lines I started collecting. I just remember being so obsessed with, you know, them being like magical and it was just so, so cute. I love like the fantasy theme, like escaping into those worlds, you know, as, even now as an adult. And so yeah, one troll that means the world to me though is Queen Poppy. And so yeah, obviously you can see I'm a big Poppy fan. And so I just love Poppy because she is so positive and bright and the characters like this I'm so drawn to because that's like who I strive to be and especially who I look to be because I deal with things like depression and anxiety and especially through my teen years those were very hard and I remember watching the Trolls movies and thinking she was so amazing and especially you know her song Get Back Up Again is so iconic and literally the message of that is everything like life will give you struggles and hardships but you know just you just have to try to get back up again and you can make it and that's her message and she is just so sweet and kind and tries to look out for her friends and yeah so Poppy just means the world to me. I think her positivity and her looking on the bright side has always led me to do the same and so yeah I just love her and I think she will always be a very special character. This wig I also style myself. I cut layers into it and for this look I tied it into pigtails. I love the white and the black hair. With this look it really matches the vibes. Ghost fam, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's makeup tutorial, we are doing this Halloween y cat girl look. It's just a super simple Halloween smoky eye with the purple and the orange, and then of course, my signature Hello Ghosty page Nightmare Kitty Cat. Her style is very similar to mine, so if you like the more spooky cuteness, Halloween-y core um, style like mine, 
go give her a follow. Her makeup style is very different and also very similar. She is such a cutie and she is so, so sweet. She also just had a birthday. So let's all wish her a happy late birthday. Um, I love following people that are actually wholesome and personality and you know that they're good people. Channel. And here is the finished look. I wish I had fairy wings to go with this look. We felt so whimsical and magical. I am over the top excited to talk about today's subject. It's a subject that I used to info dump like crazy about. I used to drive my friends nuts, past lovers nuts with this topic, but then she just disappeared for five years and didn't upload anything. I was scrolling YouTube the other day, literally had just woken up out of my bed and the first thing I see when I open YouTube is a Kelly Eden video. And I sat there and I was like, no, no, no way this is real. No way this is real. Then I clicked on it, I was like, ah! <laughs> Kelly Eden, Kelly Eden, Kelly Eden's back. Oh my God, Kelly Eden's back. Today we are gonna be talking about how my agoraphobia started. What was the event that led up to it um, starting to form that really bad anxiety and how it escalated over time. Mainly though, we're gonna be focusing on the event that started it. He went into his weed habit while he didn't have a job and he wasn't really looking for a job. A lot of the time being in that relationship, he would be completely jobless and still spending money on weed. A lot of it, if we were not paying rent at the time, was my disability money. Um, and I would just cave in because I knew it helped him. And further into the relationship, I came to the understanding that he was a very angry, abusive man when he did not have it. He would have tantrums. Over in my original YouTube area in this apartment, I thought it would be kind of a fun change of things. And I realized that we're beginning where we're, we started, like we're ending. No, let me change that. <laughs> we, we are ending end of this era and this apartment is creeping up. We are ending this era and our last beginning. To my long awaited Gloomy Bear inspired makeup tutorial. I am so excited to be uploading this. This was my first time ever using water activated graphic liner and I am absolutely in love. I cannot wait to play around with it more. This definitely gives me more freedom in my artistry as a makeup artist and I cannot wait to show y'all how we pulled off this very cute pink creepy cute gloomy bear look. I absolutely love how we tied up the wig to look like bear ears as well. So I want to take the time in this segment of the video to thank the past me's. I thank the young child that had the big imagination with playing dress up and created a reality away from our harsh reality and a whimsicalness to the world. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Hey everybody! This is my first talk video. I hope y'all enjoy it. And we will be talking about cosplayers and Halloween. So that should be awesome. I'm a little bit nervous, so excuse me if I mess up on my words. It's my first talk video. I hope it gets a lot of views. I'm not very good at this yet. I've got the makeup videos down pat, but any other video? Nah. Well, now I... And let me know what your favorite pride sticker was that we created. And are you going to be supporting the store in October? Let's have a quick fun chat about it in the comments down below. Till next time, stay spooky. Mwah. Lately, we've been on this new self-discovery journey where we are realizing the good parts of ourselves again. Our art, um, we are 
actively drawing more, we are writing more, we're coming up with storylines. Uh, it's nice to finally have that freedom. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam, and today's makeup tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful pastel goth-esque pansexual pride makeup look. This would be perfect to wear to a pride event or to just... Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing a demi-sexual pride look. I wanted these to match the sticker design that I did, so I did kind of a Frankenstein girl look for this one. I think I'm so confident in this next look. We have this black and white dress that is super pretty with our white wig and this Lisa Franken-esque makeup. Lisa Franken. Lisa Frank! <laughs> I have my spooky brain on as always. These shoes are from Ross. Now I love how form-fitting this dress is. But I don't know how to wear it in public yet because it does kind of scooch up with my thighs. So I need kind of an undergarment for safety measures, like some shorts or something that fit really well nice under it. See, as I said with the makeup, it's very Lisa Frank. I can't believe I said Lisa Frank and that's so funny. All our fears are coming to a close in the past year. Two years actually, 2023, 2022, and 2024 literally three years of this chaos, we were faced with all our biggest fears in life. Losing our family, um, still struggling with independence as somebody that grew up um, being conditioned that they didn't know anything and to stay disabled. Um, we also got faced with our biggest fear of being alone and really seeing how much we struggle with life by ourselves little I think this was a dance costume but like we even have like a little moon little charm and we can put an undershirt underneath it we feel like we could do something really spooky cute and Halloween for with this because it has like those Halloween witch vibes that is of a stretchy material so I really think this is going to fit and it is in my size this is probably the first thing I am going to end up styling because and just cute Halloween -y stuff. Um, I already have a blanket that I can put on the couch to make it all spooky. It's like orange and has like witch portraits on it. Hi, Spooky Ghost Fam, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we show off our new masculine wig and show you how to do this emo boy makeup while giving overall tips for trans mask makeup for those of you that are gender fluid or trans that might want to get into alternative makeup. And welcome to another new series. I know I'm always starting new series on this channel. I love to have a variety. In today's video, we are starting Booze Views. This is the series where I'm gonna be reviewing newer media apart from my The Media That Shaped Us series. And for episode one, I am super duper excited. I have my Wonderland themed look on, hint, hint. We are reviewing Rise of Red, the fourth installment of the Descendants series. We are so excited for this new era and to leave all this pain behind. This video was kind of our way of finally like releasing it and getting more hopeful for this new era of my life. I am excited. I'm determined to just let spirit guide me. Don't have too much control over it and just kind of let life flow a little bit. Little mushrooms and fairies. It very fits his like foresty vibes. I cannot wait to see his reaction. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam, and welcome to our first makeup tutorial in the new era. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this really hot ringleader clown girl showgirl look. I absolutely love how simple this is, yet incredibly sexy. I felt so hot in this look, and I cannot wait to show you how I pulled this off. Let's get started, shall we? favorite cosplay memories of all time just happened to be when I wore my Inuyasha cosplay. 
Um, this literally brought out the entire goofball in me. Um, when I get in the character, I get in the character. Patients are for the movie. We actually went and rewatched the original as a kind of like a refresher last night. So I'm gonna ask your opinion first. What do you think the new movie is gonna entail? And what do you want it to entail? I, I just want to know more about Beetlejuice. His past life, his origins. Past life. Yeah. Hi, Spooky Ghost Fam, and welcome to our first couples transformation video. We are going to be transforming into our own modern takes on Beetlejuice and Lydia. I love how these looks turned out, and I'm so excited to show you how we did them. Individually, I have this like pink one. Actually, that one matches my outfit today. I have this blue one, and I have just a generic orange. For a trip to Walmart, where honestly I felt like a freaking celebrity. Everybody was telling me I looked gorgeous and stopping me to tell me that I look beautiful. I'm wearing this like jacket I got last time I thrifted to Ghosty Queen 2024. with Sam and with no makeup on because we have a special treat for you guys today. Do you want to tell them what we're doing? I'm going to do your makeup. Yeah, he's going to do my makeup and pick an entire outfit for me. And I don't know what I'm doing, guys. save more than 2000 in your bank at a time or they cut your benefits. You can't work a certain amount of hours and make a certain amount of money. But also now the workplace in America is not made for people like me. It's not made for people with disabilities. Salem and we were on our way to the pumpkin patch. We went to a very small, cutesy, local pumpkin patch. There were lots of activities to do around and there was chickens. I love chickens, they're so cute. Like look at them, look at them, look at the babies. 
<laughs> it was such a good day. Mall, which was super fun. It was a fun time, even though I did have a moment. We have this thrifted black dress that is short in the front and long in the back. I tied a cute little scarf around it that had he read his note from me we just sat on the balcony and smiled and laughed and reminisced on our year together enjoying our pizza and enjoying the view isn't this etsy store popping off like i want it to um i got in my head that i'm never gonna have my own money but I have to remember that I can budget. Um, I have a partner that's helping me. And I have to remember that that's not the end of the world. In today's video, we are gonna be going over the movie Dinner in America and how it is harmful to autistic women and gives them a bad outlook on what romances should look like for us. Hi, it's Spooky Ghost Fam. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this adorable cosplay. I am cosplaying as Charlie Morningstar from Has Been Hotel, but what if she was Dorothy? I feel like it just fits her character so well, and I love how cute this turned out. This was all done with thrifted pieces. You could also just use this makeup tutorial for regular Charlie as well because it is just how her how I would actually do her makeup for the original version. 